Roma was the franchise champion. That's a way that the WBC has of stripping a guy without really stripping him. But then the regular champion is considered a notch below the franchise champion. But you say because no, you no. have that belt, you're disputing his tail's claim to the title? No, the franchise title is a, is a way to duck your mandatory. I have mandatories. I'm the WBC champion and I have mandatories. When I was his mandatory, he petitioned to become a franchise champion to where he didn't have any mandatories. Devin Haney has mandatories. The By franchise the way, title I, is for ducks. A franchise champion means you didn't have to fight your mandatory. That's a duck. So Devin collects the belt because what else is he supposed to do? So when you say you can't say Tia Fimo has all the belts or Tia Fimo is undisputed or Tia Fimo is the champion in, in, in the lightweight division because there's still one more belt. He has a franchise title. I'm the WBC world champion. Do you believe at 20 years old you're ready for that type of challenge? I think you said his name his name wrong. It's no Machico because he doesn't want to fight me. But it's, uh, you know, uh, I feel like I'm ready for the fight. Uh, you know, uh, this is the WBC mandatory. So, uh, no Machico, come on, man. Let's get this fight going. A lot of guys have said they want Lomachenko. You're the next on that list. No Machinko. My mistake. So the WBC have been receiving a lot of backlash, especially recently when the WBC president Mauricio Suleiman came out and stated that Devin Haney is the WBC world champion. But at the same time, he also said George Combosis is undisputed which is the ultimate contradiction because that directly contradicts the definition of undisputed. The word undisputed means there's only one champion. Therefore, since Suleiman recognized Devin Haney as the WBC world champion, that alone factually proves Combosis is not undisputed. Since we have more than one champion at the lightweight division, which doesn't go hand to hand with the definition of the word undisputed. Unless they want to redefine the word, that's another thing. But to call George Combosis undisputed is idiotic since he don't even fit the definition of the word. You can call Combosis the disputed world champion, but you definitely can't call him undisputed. He has to see Devin Haney in the ring in order for that to happen. In the meantime, we have two world champions in the lightweight division. Devin Haney, the WBC world champion, and George Combosis, the IBF, the WBO, and the WBA world champion, which makes Combosis the unified world champion, not undisputed. To make matters worse, Combosis is not even listed on the WBC website as a champion. When you go to the page where all of the champions are, you only see Devin Haney, not Combosis. These are the facts. Furthermore, I decided to take it a step further. I went on the WBC organization website and I read the WBC franchise title rules. This is their own rules on their own website that they written. Now, before I read what the WBC website says, let me further clarify some information. In the sport of boxing, the world champion is the highest position in any organization. Due to being in the highest position, a world champion cannot force anybody under him into a fight. For example, the world champion cannot force the interim champion into a fight. A world champion cannot force another world champion into a fight. However, an interim champion, a mandatory, can force a world champion into a fight. They can mandate the fight like Usyk did to Anthony Joshua, so on and so forth. But if the mandatory mandate the fight with a champion and the champion refuses to fight, then the champion gets stripped or vacates the title to his mandatory for avoiding the fight. Like Lennox Lewis did to Redick Bow, like Charlo did to Canelo, and Devin Haney did to Lomachenko. That's where the WBC franchise, aka the NBF Witness Protection franchise, came into play in order to save face for the fake champions with no cojones on the hope list whenever they choose to duck a fighter on the coincidental list and give up their title like a fake champion. Essentially, the WBC franchise title is a duck witness protection title. With the facts being laid out, let's read what the WBC website has to say on the franchise title. 
Quote, a franchise boxer shall enjoy the highest preferential position to challenge for the world championship in his division at any given time upon his written request to the WBC, regardless of whether the current world champion has any mandatory obligations. End of the quote. Translation. The franchise title holder can request he can petition to the WBC to automatically become the mandatory for the world champion. In other words, Combosis can petition he can request to the WBC to automatically become Devin Haney mandatory and force the fight, which means the WBC franchise title is a super mandatory title not a championship status because we all know a champion cannot force anybody into a fight only a mandatory can which essentially the franchise title is a super mandatory title where the duck franchise holder can activate the mandatory position whenever he grows some cojones to challenge the champion or for Combosa's case wait Devin Haney out till he moves out of the 135 pound division then patiently wait on the weakest fighter to hold the title, like Ryan Garcia maybe, and then petition to fight him. Again, it's essentially a duck title, a limitless, super mandatory title. Now this rule I read is not something I made up. These are the WBC rules and it's on their own website. And by their own rules, George Combosis is not undisputed. He has to petition to the WBC with a written request to fight Devin Haney in order to challenge for the world championship so he can become undisputed. These are the facts given by the WBC own rules. But in our reality, we don't even have to go that far. The fact that there is dispute as we speak when it comes to George Combosis' undisputed claim, that alone proves that George Combosis is not undisputed since that's a direct contradiction to the definition of the word undisputed. Again, are you smarter than the fifth grader? The definition alone to the word undisputed means there is no dispute. However, we had nothing but dispute, which makes Combosis the disputed champion, if anything. So after the WBC president Mauricio Suleiman ridiculously called Combosis the undisputed champion, the fans flooded Devin Haney page calling him the secondary champion. That's when Devin Haney had enough and out of frustration, he directly questioned the WBC and requested the WBC to make him Combosis mandatory if that's the case. However, just like Lomachenko, the WBC also ducked Devin Haney by completely avoiding the question and the request where the WBC president Mauricio Suleiman responded with, quote, I'm so proud of our WBC boxing lightweight champion, Devin Haney, who has an exemplary journey. WBC World Youth, WBC International, WBC Silver, WBC Interim, WBC World. Four title defenses defending Gamboa, Linares, and Jojo Diaz. 2022 will be a sensational year, champ. End of the quote. The WBC president completely talking in circles. If you're going to say Devin Haney is the WBC world champion, that factually means George Combosis is not undisputed. So somebody, please translate the word undisputed to the WBC president because I don't think he knows what the definition of the word is since he's over here making a fool out of himself and as we discussed earlier what Devin Haney is requesting and asking the WBC to do is what the franchise title is made for and capable of doing since the franchise is a super mandatory title therefore George Combosis could do that he could request from the WBC to fight for the championship title that Devin Haney currently holds. That's the only path to undisputed for Combosis. Even Tio knew this all along. He said he could mandate the Devin Haney fight. Comment Linares against Haney. What type of fight do you see that being? I really want Devin to win this fight because I want his head next. I'm the franchise, so I can mandate that fight next. At the end of the day, or at least the night, 
it doesn't even matter who says George Combosis is undisputed because factually speaking, he is not. So it don't even matter if Joe Biden, the president of the United States, says George Combosis is undisputed. That won't make Combosis undisputed since the history books don't have Combosis listed as undisputed. The last undisputed champion was Canelo Alvarez, who was listed as number six. Also, none of the boxing organizations from the WBA, the IBF, the WBO, recognize the franchise title as a real title. You cannot unify with a franchise title. All of the organization websites have Devin Haney listed as the WBC champion, not George Combosis. Even the boxing websites from BoxRec, so on and so forth. To put icing on the cake, the person that requested the franchise title to duck Devin Haney, he even acknowledged that Devin Haney has the real WBC title. And last but not least, the WBC president came out and said, if George Combosis choose to fight Devin Haney next and Devin Haney doesn't want to compete for the franchise title, that's fine. He don't have to petition for it, so the title won't be on the line. So you telling me if Devin Haney beat George Combosis, that means George Combosis is still the franchise champion. So he could request to become the mandatory at any time, even after a loss. I mean, you really can't make this up. The WBC president is becoming the cancer of the sport of boxing. He's just full of contradictions and lies. One minute he will say one thing, the next minute he will say another. One minute the franchise is a trophy, is not a championship title. The next minute he says is an actual world title. Now mind you, he's doing all of these changes while Devin Haney is the WBC world champion. One minute you can defend the franchise, the next minute you can actually defend the franchise. The WBC president actually told Charlo and Devin Haney, you guys cannot fight for the franchise title. Whoever holding the franchise cannot lose that designation. A few moments later, when Tio fought Lomachenko and Combosis fought Tio, now you can fight for the franchise. You see, the franchise title is the NBF Witness Protection title. It's the NBF League that the WBC is starting. Like I said before, if you are going to make a trophy, a title, whatever, you're supposed to have all of the rules before you launch it. You can't just launch it and then change the rules as you go to how you see best fit in order to help the fighters on the hope list to duck the fighters on the coincidental list. And just for further clarification, the franchise title being a super mandatory title, as you guys see on the screen, that rule still applies today. It's on the WBC website to this day. And just to further prove that the franchise is a duck witness protection title, listen to the conversation Bill Haney had with the WBC president Mauricio Suleiman where Mauricio Suleiman choked on the mic due to all of the contradictions he was putting out. Do you remember a time where Lennox Lewis had got the WBC belt when Riddick Bowe didn't fight him? Um, yes, absolutely. Right. When Riddick Bowe uh, defeated Holyfield and he had to fight Lennox Lewis and he just simply dumped the belt in a trash can. Lennox Lewis was uh, given the recognition of the world champion. So there is precedent. Yes. You cannot be unjust. Uh, and, and this is what happens. So uh, there is so, no question. Right. You so, know all this back and forth. So, so let me ask you, Lomachenko, why don't they have the, the mandatories? And then why couldn't we then challenge Lomachenko? Because when you made Lomachenko the franchise champion, you made him untouchable where Devin couldn't then challenge him. And you said that he would become, he was the franchise designation. So then that took us from being able to challenge Lomachenko because we were in yeah, the WBC 
has been completely uh, consistent because when when your son uh, at the convention was uh, named officially named champion, why isn't Lomachenko available to us then? No, because Lomachenko, right at the convention, he was, and he kept on the stage, and we have the video, yes, and he signed the franchise. At that, at that same moment, Devin Haney was appointed WBC champion, at that same moment. But while he, he, was, did on not, stage, while he Haney, was on the stage, he's not available to none of your sanctioning body fighters for us to challenge Lomachenko. When he got up on that stage, he was taking off the possibility of us being able to challenge him or petition to fight him. I could have never petitioned to fight him. Yeah, uh, that would have to be a voluntary, yes. That would have to be a voluntary. So when when you had the convention, I believe was September, October, you fought in a very close time. The WBC supported the opponent that you uh, requested. But that, then, was, but that opponent is the opponent that's available. Why wasn't Lomachenko available for us to challenge him because Lomachenko was him. appointed franchise champion. But that's what I'm saying is he was not available. So what I'm asking is, is how can a champion that represent you guys where he's only fought one time for the vacant belt be considered a supreme champion that no one in the WBC can challenge? Anyone can challenge. How? How they can he? And huh? Look. I don't know why we're having this discussion. No, 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 no. I'm no, I'm asking. I no, don't understand where, you, where it's leading to. It is very clear. Uh, I said ten minutes, and it's been forty minutes longer. <laughs> so, I, I want so, to so, so, so does that make the so I don't see where it's going, Mr. Henry. If no, you want to say the WBC has done wrong to you, did you because I did not choose him. He requested. Canelo requested. So we sent out a vote and we analyzed his history. Ooh, Canelo and Lomachenko requested? Absolutely. Ooh, he just made headlines. Lomachenko. <laughs> he just made headlines. Lomachenko, uh -huh. top rank, requested. Uh -huh. And let me tell you, we analyzed the request. Uh -huh. Top of the top. Find the franchise belt. Can you define it? The franchise is not a belt. It's not a championship. It's a designation given to elite unique fighters who carry the industry of the sport of boxing. Canelo Alvarez and Lomachenko are two sensational fighters who carry the industry. Last man even said they doing that to protect them. Right. Somebody beat them but they don't get a belt. There you go. The franchise belt is to protect them from the big black guys. <laughs> So, so you 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 would favor Devin Haney to beat Vasily Lomachenko? 